I didn't expect that. Now, how about if we go higher, I'm going to try a whistle and see what that does. Wrong side. <laughs> wow, look at that. Let's go a little bit higher yet. Now I'll also try making sounds underneath it through the short piece of plastic tube. Now we were starting to see some very interesting patterns form on the top of this plastic, but my range is not too good and the quality is not too good either, so I think I'm going to switch from me making the sound to something that has a little better range. So we're going to put this speaker down and then put this over top of it and I'm either going to use a tone generator or the piano and see what kind of patterns we can get. Notice that we get simpler patterns with the lower frequencies, and as the frequency increases, the pattern becomes more complex. Now the patterns that form on this plastic do so for the same reasons as they do on the metal colony plates. These are the homemade plates that I showed in a previous video. And as you can see, the same type of patterns forms on these metal plates as we were seeing on this plastic membrane. These patterns form because the sound wave causes the surface to resonate. It has standing waves that collects sand in the places of very little energy, that would be our nodes, and where it's moving quite a bit, it keeps the sand from those areas, and that would be examples of antinodes. Now as we increase the frequency, those compressional waves become shorter, giving us more standing waves and a more complex pattern on the surface. <laughs> 